we've been building here this afternoon and now the buses are packed with the players and coaching staff as they head off to Scunthorpe Town Centre for a hero's welcome. The streets are bound to be packed with thousands of fans waiting to welcome them back after their tremendous achievement. Later on, they'll be heading to a civic reception at Normanby Hall, where I'm sure the champagne will be in full flow. But of course, the celebrations really began last Saturday, when the Irons secured their place in Division 1 with a nil-nil draw at Shrewsbury Town. These were the scenes of utter jubilation at the final whistle, when they really started to realise what they had done. And it's an achievement which really is quite incredible when you think that just 12 months ago they were a club that was facing relegation to the conference. It's something that everyone here today is rightly proud of. It's more important to me than anything in the world. It's, I've been watching them since I was seven year old. It's just tops. All my birthdays in one go, Saturday was an amazing day and I'm just so happy. We're looking forward to the parade round town. I don't know how many will turn up, but I'm sure there'll be a, a few hundred there. But uh, it's, it's a great day out, really, to top off a great season. As a manager, you're very proud of your players, and it's a magnificent achievement. When you look back 12 months, we're nearly at the trap door of uh, you know, non-league. So now we look forward now, 12 months on, and uh, we've got promotion automatic, the first time in 20-odd years. So it's a great achievement, and it's a real credit to the players. Well, I'm sure the party's going to continue into Scunthorpe well into the night this evening. If you saw heads in the morning, probably, you can see more of the celebrations on our late bulletin on calendar tonight. And, of course, we'll uh, follow Lincoln's progress as well throughout uh, the, well, the weekend. I can see you actually there, uh, Yeah, it? we'll be, yeah. Right, on to cricket. Uh, Yorkshire's winning streak looks like coming to an abrupt end. At... Absolutely right. Now, your boys, you did the business. You did exactly what was required last weekend, mate, at, uh, at Shrewsbury. Was it a tight one, a bit of a nervy old game? Uh, it wasn't really nervy. I looked around the dressing room before the game and I knew that we had what uh, you know was required to, to get the result required and it proved the case. So, great scenes of celebration there. Yeah, absolutely right. And, of course, you had uh, um, a, a, like a, a civic reception today and all the players and everyone at the club, which must have been good. Yeah, yeah, we all turned up the ground, opened top bus there, you know, glued the wig on extra tight and that because it was quite windy. <laughs> but the crowd turned up and they've been phenomenal all season and the, and the, the fans, the crowd attendance is up by yeah. a thousand, so everything looking forward to a few derbies next year. Absolutely right. Now, what about yourself? I know you're 40 in November, mate. You're still going on. What's going to happen? Are you going to play on? Uh, I've been offered another year's contract, you know, so um, I'll stay another year. Looking forward to playing against Bradford and a lot of the Yorkshire. Not a lot of travelling, mate. Quite right. Listen, mate, well done, pal, and you get them all feet up for the fun. summer. Now, after nearly falling out of the Football League last year, it's time for Scunthorpe United to celebrate promotion. The Iron will be playing in League One next year, and tonight they've been saying a big thank you to their fans in Scunthorpe. Simon Clark is there. Well, they do it in style here. You know civic receptions normally end on a Guildhall balcony, but here we are at Normanby Hall. A stately home finish for Scunthorpe United. Uh, we'll show you things from Dunford Park in a moment, but uh, why not uh, come with me and meet Andy Crosby, the skipper. Andy, you're live on the north. Many congratulations. Thank you, thank What's this you. like for you all? Yeah, great night. Tops off by, uh, it's obviously been a good season, but tonight's been great, yeah. Well, look at this. All these fans here to meet yeah. you. Tell me about those fans. They've been brilliant all season. I, I wish we could have got promoted at home, but it, it, we, we couldn't. But so this is a night for them as well, and they've been great. Thank you very much indeed. You're live on Look North. That's uh, Andy Crosby. We'll have a look at Glamford in a moment. Just come here and tell me, uh, what's your name? Nathan. And Nathan, what do you think of seeing the uh, Scunthorpe United players here at Normanby Hall? I think it's brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. And what about next year? Um, yeah. Yeah, hard, isn't it? Yeah, League One, thanks very much indeed. Well, these were the scenes at Glamford Park just about half an hour ago. As the bus left, there were a thousand people at Glamford Park to see them off. There have been people lining the streets of Scunthorpe waiting for the bus to arrive here at Norman Ball. Come on, come with me. Let's go. Let's see the main man. Brian, Brian, Brian. Come live on Look North. Here he is, the main man, Brian Laws. Many co <laughs> congratulations. Brian What's this like? Thanks very much. It's been an absolute great journey from uh, Grandpa Park up to here. and it's, uh, it's been a fantastic and emotional day. Well, I bet it is. He looks close to tears, if I might say. Yeah, I mean, it's been a... Mainly for the fact that we've been going about 60 miles an hour on an over-top bus, it's been incredible. Like, uh, no, it's been a great day and, and well-deserved to the players. Ryan, enjoy your celebration. Thank you so much indeed. So there we are, we've seen the skipper, we've seen the manager, we've seen hundreds of these wonderful fans. Peter, it's back to you in the studio. 
Simon, thanks uh, very much indeed. The uh, celebrations there tonight in uh, Scunthorpe. Thank you very much indeed for uh, being there. Coming up tonight. Next year, it's time for Scunthorpe United to celebrate promotion. The Iron will be playing in League One next year, and tonight they've been saying a big thank you to their fans in Scunthorpe. Simon Clark was there. A rare but welcome event in Scunthorpe, an open top bus tour of the town to celebrate promotion. Fans poured into the car park of Glanford Park to rub shoulders with the players and offer personal congratulations. Uh, still hasn't sunk in yet. It's been an amazing season. It's great for me, absolutely great. I love it. Sunthorpe is what I believe at the minute, and it's football. I just hope we can do what Hull can do next season. Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, to do it two years on the trot with different clubs as well, it's been a good achievement. I think this is one of the best times. Really is good. Brought the town alive anyway, and that's the main thing. At Normanby Hall, yet more fans praising the players who in turn appreciated their fans. Yeah, great night. Tops off by uh, it's obviously been a good season, but tonight's been great, yeah. They've been brilliant all season. I, I wish we could have got promoted at home, but it, it, we, we couldn't both say this is a night for them as well, and they've been great. Manager Brian Laws has promised a great season next year, but for now his players take a well-deserved rest. Well, staying with football, and Scunthorpe United have been celebrating their promotion to League One with a civic reception this evening. Players and officials took an open-top bus tour from the club's ground at Glanford Park to Normanby Hall for the reception, cheered on by thousands of fans all the way. The Iron guaranteed automatic promotion on Saturday with a goalless draw at Shrewsbury. As a manager, you're very proud of your players, and it's a magnificent achievement. When you look back 12 months, we're nearly at the track door of... Uh, you know, non-league. So now we look forward now, 12 months on, and uh, we've got promotion, more than the first time in 20-odd years. So it's a great achievement, and it's a real credit to the players. That's all the news this evening. Time now for the weather.